Whoa. So, this is the result of the Kreuz family's obsession. At a glance, it doesn't seem like it's in full operation. Yeah. When I infiltrated this place two years ago, it was glowing with an eerie energy. That's right. Back then, it was draining mana from all of Crossbell. Hmm. It might not be at full power, but it's definitely been turned on. Something's coming. Be careful, everyone! <gasps> Guess we found a couple of the Alchemist little toys. Ready your Arcus 2s for battle. Let's link up and destroy the targets. Right. We should try out Brave Orders while we're at it. Kia, stand back! Okay, I'm still gonna help from the sidelines, though. I'll take you on. Huh. Take this! Hurricane! Ah! Zero Breaker! Here I go! Take this! Ha! You're finished! Yeah! Ha! Think you can handle this? Meet your end! Let's finish them all! Leave it to me! Those things were pretty strong for being a bunch of walking rocks. Right. And I'm sure we can expect even stronger foes from this point on. Man, you two really are something. I can certainly see why you're both in line for a promotion to A rank. Aw, oh, thanks. Shara and Agate can still run circles around us, though. And compared to the Divine Blade of Wind, we're practically amateurs. Enough with the false modesty, you two. We know what you're capable of. No kidding. And your skills with that scythe are no joke either, Ren. Yeah, you're super cool! <laughs> you're making me blush. To be honest, though, I feel like I've gotten pretty rusty since my days as an enforcer. Right. You used to be with Ouroboros. And you as well. Isn't that right, Joshua? Yeah. Back then I was known as Enforcer Number 13, the Black Fang. I was Enforcer Number 15, the Angel of Slaughter. It's embarrassing to think I actually used to go by that title, though. <laughs> well, I'm just glad we're on the same side now. I'll do my best to keep up with all of you. Glad to have you along with us. You too, Kia. That order you used earlier was straight up amazing. No prob. I've got your back. According to the data Yona managed to grab, the central terminal is on the top floor of this area. That's where we'll find the intel we're looking for. Got it. It's been two years since the SSS and Bracer Guild collaborated on a mission. But now, we're back in action. We've got quite a climb ahead of us, so let's get moving. Right! Ready, everyone? Go, go, go! Let's begin. Take you on. You're finished. Yeah! Let's go, Let's Estelle. Go, okay. okay. Ha! Ha! Here's the kicker.
This will be quite the tea party. Wanna see what I got? Not falter again. Ready? Phantom Ray. Rest in peace. Entertained our guests. Round and round. Up you go. Let the Let party, party begin. begin. Hmm. I do hope you enjoyed yourself.
by the light show, I'd say this is it. Yes, this is where all that data from Heimdall ended up. It must have been installed recently. It wasn't here two years ago. Are you ready, Ren? But of course. All set up. I'll need your help for this next part, Kia. You got it! What should I do? According to Four Eyes, this terminal uses a system made with the same astral code that Ouroboros uses. It's a five-dimensional spirit code. A lifetime wouldn't be enough to try all the combinations. But with your help, we should be able to skip ahead 81 steps or so. Oh, I get it now! You want me to matricize the exterior of space-time, right? Exactly. Let's get started. Are these kids even speaking our language? The heck is a five-dimensional code? Astral code. Huh. It's the system Ouroboros uses for its communications. Right. And it seems the Kreuz family applied it to their ritual. I still don't understand why that data from Heimdall was sent here of all places. It's simple, really. It's because I requested it of the Governor General and a certain source. Oh! I couldn't even sense them coming. Are you? She's from the RMP. I'm Claire Revelt, Railway Military Police. I recognize the two of you, Lloyd Bannings and Ellie McDowell. You must be Estelle Bright, meaning the one with you is Joshua Bright, correct? Who? Now, you must have us mixed up with some other people. If it's all the same, I think we'll avoid confirming our identities for now. Oh, that's perfectly fine. I'm actually quite impressed you were able to pinpoint this terminal's location. I suppose the Faceless taught you well. What did you say? Wait. I recognize you. A key figure in Ouroboros' 13 Factories project, you led a team of gnomes in Erebonia. But then you betrayed the society to join forces with the Blood and Iron Chancellor, didn't you? Chief of the Black Workshop? <laughs> Precisely. I worked closely with the former Third Anguis of Ouroboros, the Faceless. I even had him test my automated miniature combat shells. He proved very useful in the Hommel project as well. Hard to believe that was 14 years ago. What are you talking about? Does that mean you helped the Professor start the Hundred Days' War? Seems like there's still a lot of buried secrets. I'm guessing the data here is the key to dragging the rest of the skeletons out of your closet. Hmm. Yes, actually. If you can break the code, then by all means do whatever you wish with the data. Ah, however, before you can do that, you'll need to face the three of us. The three of you? No way. Oh! <laughs> Why, hello there, everyone! Long time no see. Huh? <gasps> Why? What are you doing here, Belle? Oh, don't be like that. It's been a while since we've seen each other. Two years or so. And it looks like you're up to your neck in trouble. Just like I knew you'd be. Bell! So you finally come back to Crossbell. But what are you doing with these two? Should you be fighting the Imperial government? Oh? Did you not get the memo? Ouroboros is now allied with Mr. Blood and Iron, or... Perhaps it would be more accurate to say Ouroboros surrendered to him. 
Say what? Since when does the society just roll over like that? If that's the case, then what happened in Heimdall? Yes, it was a declaration of the alliance between Chancellor Osborne and Ouroboros. The beginning of the Great Twilight. The Great Twilight? That's one heck of a creepy name. Oh, now I get it. So that's what that weird black wave was. Oh, -ho! you could see it even though you lost your powers as a Septarian? My family's little pet project continues to impress. Kia's not just some project. It's okay, Ellie. It's true that I started out as a project. But that aside, there are some things I'm grateful to Belle for. It's thanks to her that I was able to meet you, Lloyd, and everyone else. Ah, Kia. I'm glad we met too, Kia. You really have grown up, and in such a short time. In any event, I'm surprised to see the Bright family here too. I'm particularly pleased to meet you, number 15, the Angel of Slaughter. The pleasure's all mine. I've been wanting to meet the one who took that twisted professor's spot. I can tell at a glance, you're somehow even more rotten than he was. Oh dear me! Coming from you, I'll take that as a compliment. Forget about her, Red. Agreed. Right now we need to focus on getting that data. And if they're here to stop us, we won't hesitate to fight back! Ren! Kia! Don't worry! We'll take care of them! <laughs> oh, is that so? We'll just see about that now, won't we? What the...? A combat shell! Though it's different from the kind the professor used. That black rabbit girl had one of those things too! One might refer to this one as the origin of the other models you've seen. It's been quite some time since I last tested Zoa Balor in battle. I'm very curious to see how it performs against the Divine Blade's daughter, two former enforcers, and the SSS. Rosenberg dolls! You made the old man's dolls into your minions? Oh, I just couldn't help myself being an alchemist and all. We may both play with dolls, but my tea parties are a little more deadly than yours. Please, both of you. That's enough playing around. We're wasting time. Huh? That emblem? I am the Icy Maiden, Claire Revelt. On my authority as a member of the Iron Bloods, you're all under arrest for illegally accessing a restricted area. Here they come! Be careful, everyone! Activate combat links! We will overcome this, no matter what! I trust you'll provide me with some valuable data. Apprehending fugitives! <laughs> Do try and make this entertaining! Break them! Raging Hammer! Take this! <laughs> Twilight Lightning! Burn through! So a Balor, strike! Uh. You're finished! Yes! Uh. 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 Won't let you! Not a chance! Twilight Lightning, burn through! Too slow! Not a chance! <laughs> Help me out now, would you? Alex, Shaw, Kanan, now! Off you go! Now, let us begin! Oh, holy right of Adios! Come forth from the heavens and shine upon us! Thanks. Thanks. Uh, ah! Let's finish them off! Okay. You 
it to me! Fire! It ends here! Tolk! Rising Sun! I'm impressed. However... <laughs> I suppose I should have expected as much, Ellie. Better than I could have asked for. Okay! The last Matrix is finished! Nice! I've disabled the data protection! Access granted. Beginning download of classified data. Oh my! <laughs> I am certainly impressed. After all we went through, that better not be just a bunch of junk data. I doubt it. I don't think they had the time to set us up under these circumstances. But the way they're acting, it's like they don't really care if we get this info. But why? Why go to such lengths to cover things up and then let us learn the truth? The truth about what happened in Heimdall, both on the surface and behind the scenes. <laughs> Simple. Because we already achieved our goals there two weeks ago. <laughs> it doesn't make the slightest difference if you learn the details. There's no way to change the outcome. Oh. Download complete. We got it! We've secured an escape route. Let's move! Ren! Kia! Grab your stuff and start running! Gotcha! Yeah, yeah. I'm coming! It was good to see you again, Belle. However, you're the absolute worst. <laughs> Why, thank you! I wholeheartedly agree. Love you, Ellie. We'll see each other again soon. Ah, <sighs> that was quite an entertaining encounter. It's not every day you meet so many interesting people. Though it seemed like there was a touch of drama near the end. I suppose so. It's a bit of a long story. But what's between me and the SSS is none of your concern. Don't worry, it won't stop me from helping with the Great Twilight and the rivalries. Though I'm none too pleased about having to work alongside someone who stole hundreds of years of technology from my family. <laughs> I take it you're talking about the homunculus technology? Well, you don't have any grounds to complain there. After all, where did the technology for your cradle come from? On top of that, your use of septium veins for the Wisdom Project seems suspiciously familiar. Oh! Touché! <laughs> Perhaps we make a good team after all. Ah, oh, pardon me. Lecter? Yes, everything is proceeding as planned. Please keep a close eye on the Bracer HQ and the SSS officers' movements. The Icy Maiden, hmm? She certainly piqued my interest. Despite her title, it's clear she can only just barely hold her feelings in. She's walking a thin tightrope. Well, many events have transpired in such a short time. Events both fateful and final that cannot be undone. Right. You take care too. Huh. I haven't checked my private orb mails in a while. This one is from... two weeks ago. What's up, Claire? I'm probably about to get crazy busy with work soon, so I figured I should send you this now. It's that picture we took together in Heimdall. I probably should have sent it sooner, but, well, I forgot. It's from when Reen and Milliam helped me with that undercover operation. Afterward, we went to go get ice cream together and... Uh, 
Adios. This is what really happened in Heimdall? I can't believe this. They sacrificed a girl to make some sword? And then that Schwarzer guy killed a holy beast with it? And as a result, the Great Twilight began, and the Curse of the End spread throughout the Empire. The third survivor of Hamel? So he was alive after all. How could we not have noticed? We left him behind. Looking at all this, it's clear this war won't just be between Erebonia and Calvert. Every country on the entire continent will be pulled in and devoured. Hmm. A lot of crazy stuff happened in Heimdall, but I still believe Tio and Randy are okay. The same for your friends, Tita and Agat. And all of those Class 7 guys, too. Thank you, Kia. Yeah, I know they're just fine. You took another peek at causality, didn't you? I don't know how reliable that is, but it makes me feel a little better. All right, everyone. Now that we have this, we've got a long road ahead of us. Let's get started. The way things are now, war will be in full swing within two months at the latest. If the details about this curse are true, anyway. Yes. I thought it would take at least half a year after conscription started. But if supernatural forces are at work, it may happen much more swiftly. We're gonna go report this info to Guild HQ and Liberal's royal family. How about you guys? We'll share the intel with Calvert and Remiferia. Fortunately, some of our allies happen to be there right now. You mean the Divine Blade of Wind and Yin? We've got our own allies to get in touch with. It's going to be a pain tracking them down. Maybe, but we're gonna find them no matter what. If each of us helps the others out, if we're all a guiding light for each other, we'll be dozens, no, hundreds of times stronger. Couldn't have said it better myself. Yes, you're absolutely right. Be each other's guiding light, huh? I like the sound of that. Sounds pretty sappy to me. But I guess I get the idea. That's the right idea for sure, Kia. And I'm proud of you, Ren. If you get it, then that means you've really matured. Ugh, cut it out, Estelle. I'm not a kid anymore. <laughs> You'll always be our little sister. Aw, how sweet. <laughs> we can definitely do this. We have to, to protect what matters to each of us. There's no way we're letting this world come to an end. Yeah, absolutely. Right now, it's hard to say what Class 7's next move's going to be. But we'll do whatever we can to be a guiding light for them too.
sleeping in class? <laughs> Were you up late last night or something? Kurt and Allie? Wait, what's with your uniforms? Muse and Ash too? Hold on. How are you here, Ash? What? C Crown Prince Cedric? What are you doing here? Did you seriously forget? The main and branch campuses being merged? All our classes being rearranged? Uh, <laughs> man, I must have just had some crazy dream or something. Those days I spent at Thor's were so warm and fulfilling. I was surrounded by my friends and classmates. They were all so brilliant and talented, I could barely keep up. But together, we all supported each other and pushed each other to grow. But for some reason, I couldn't shake the feeling something was missing. A voice that guided us. One that was calm but carrying way too many burdens. It was a little pushy from time to time, but you could feel the kindness behind it. The voice of someone who had gone through a lot despite not being much older than us. But whose voice could it have been? I couldn't remember. Instructor Reen! 